I'm back. We, we, you was with me a little while ago when I was doing all my wedging of my, my balls. Look. Oh, oh no, that's just my arm. Look. By the power of magic, there are loads of balls ready to go. These have all been wedged and are now ready and prepared for ball making. So anyway, before I start, don't forget to like, share, comment, follow all the things, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I would love to have a little chat with you, so don't forget to comment. Um, so what I'm going to have to do now, before, after I sneeze, hang on. No, no, it's not happening. So what I'm going to have to do now is put you down. Not like run you down, like you're a bad person or anything, but put you down, because I can't do this and hold this and i'm i've been trying to figure out where i can hang you on my gorilla tripod and it's not working so now i'm gonna to have to put you down here so you get to not see my face that's all right you're welcome and i'm going to show you a bit of potting now the thing is i was halfway through a video a minute ago and what happened my bloody phone rang and I also I'm expecting a phone call now so it's probably going to ring again what do I do I can't do anything about it I just have to keep redoing it anyway so I'm going to put you down you're going to watch what I'm doing on the wheel I'm going to finish the pot that I'm doing and then I'm going to come back and show you what is the most important part of potting which is centering okay bear with I'm going to put you down and try and get this right this time first time hello only just done it, and I could be a little better. Do I touch it? Mm, no, let's leave it. So, before I got rudely interrupted by I can't even remember who it was, I was telling you that you center on the wheel. We've just started to pull out, and now I'm going to take the sides up. You'll get where I'm coming from because I'm going to put another bit on. So, I'm going to do this one quickly. So, just going to wet it down. The wheel's going. I've left about half a cent no about a centimeter at the bottom because once this is done what happens is you do some um what's it called trimming trimming so we trim the wheel at the bottom trim the pot at the bottom so it looks nice you know when you get a, a mug or a bowl and it's got that nice bottom to it with a little lip round it. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking my fingers like this and I'm just gently pulling up the sides. There's not a lot of pressure going on here. So, and you can see around, I don't know if you can see around the bottom. So it's quite a bit thicker there. So now I'm gonna go on the inside and I'm gonna push in and pull up at the same time. There we go. Looks a bit wobbly, but yeah, that's okay. Not quite a bowl yet, is it? So we'll wet that again. We need water on the inside and the outside. And now I'm going to just bowl it out. I can feel a little air bubble in there. Got quite a nice chunky top on that. So that's quite nice. And as you can see, that's probably about where I want it. Didn't take long, did it? I'm just taking out all the water from the inside because all of that, if you leave it in there to sit, it will just soak through the bottom and you'll end up with a very, very unstable bottom. I've had one of them before. So what I'm doing here is I'm just compressing the inside. It's a bit difficult because you can't see in here now. I might adjust it for the next one and there we have it there's a bowl so then I take a tool and I'll show you what we do with it so I've got this tool here and I'm just going to take a little bit off around the bottom and that gives a nice bottom to it and then I'm going to push this tool into the bottom which gives it a little lip which actually makes it easier to take the bowl off I'm going to slow that right down now and then you can see it's a bit of a wobbly one this one by the looks of it but never mind let's see if we can straighten it a bit 
I can feel an air bubble. Now, once you've got the bowl like that, what we do is we get a bit of leather. And what is the leather for, you're asking? Nothing kinky, just a bit of leather that's nice and soft, which will make a nice top to your bowl. Because what you don't want to do is you don't want to have a bowl that somebody gets hold of and they're like, oh, that's really scratchy and horrible. So I'm literally just holding that on there very gently. I'm not putting any pressure on. And that gives me the top of my bowl. And there we have it. That's that finished. How long did that take? Not very long. I had started though. So, right, so let's stop there. And then normally what you do, what I do is cut off the bottom with a wire. I'm not going to cut this off because it's a little bit wobbly and I don't want to take the... Oh, let's have a look. Try and get that wobble out. Is that a bit better? Can't see. Can't tell. Okay, right, I'm going to leave it like that. And then what I like to do, it's my little signature thing, is put a little whirl in the bottom. I'll show you this in a minute. So I'm just going across with that. And then I soften it off with my sponge so it's not got any catchy bits. And there we have it. There's my bowl. What do you think? Ah, look, can you, I don't know if you can see this, but there is a little tiny air hole just here, air bubble, but it's come to the surface, so that's not too bad. Trouble is, if you get an air hole in it, air bubble, what does it do? Just explodes in the kiln and we don't want that. So that's that. That one's ready to go. We'll leave that to dry for a bit. And I put on a new board. There we go. Let's get that out. Right, when you're first putting your clay on the board, what you want to do is just make sure it's very slightly wet. Not too wet that it slides off. Shall I do a mug? Shall I show you a mug? So what we do, this is about 1.2 ounces, one pound two ounces. The bowl was about 1.6 ounces. So again, what I'll show you what I did do in the first place that didn't work out. So I've thrown that into the middle. I'll give it two pats. That's what's gonna make it stick to the, to the wheel. And now we're gonna spin it at quite a high speed until we center. Now I'm going to show you, centering is the main part of pottery. If you don't get this right, you don't get your, your bowl right. Um, so, nice bit of water. You're holding your palm of your hand here, and you're holding that against the clay, and keeping that as still as you can, and then you're pressing down slightly on the top. Now, what happens if, is, if that's not straight, if that's not centered, look, can you see that wobble? That's what you don't want. You don't want to wobble and then you start making your bowl out of that because it's going to go everywhere. If you get it totally centred by putting a nice bit of pressure on one side, hand on top. Now, I don't know if you can see that, but my hands aren't moving very much at all. If it's off centre, watch my hands. That is not a centred bit of clay. So let's get that right. There, you see my hands have stopped moving? Now we've got it in the middle. Now this is the hardest part. When you're starting out, it took me a long time to get this, but now it seems to come quite naturally. So there we go. Get a bit more water on there. Make sure that's nicely centered. All done. Now we clean off a little bit. Why'd you clean off? Well, we clean it off because it stops it sliding around when you take the bowl out a little bit. Also, clean your hands off. What you're doing is you're getting rid of all the slip that's on your hands because slip just turns it into slippy. You don't want that. So now we're going to go in with our thumb. 
to about a centimeter from the bottom and then we're going to start to come up now what we're doing is we're keeping the pressure absolutely the same all the way up right to the top you see that we've come up a little bit on that first one we're going to do that again pressing in at the bottom but pinching from the outside now what we're aiming to do here is make a cylinder if you can get a cylinder you can get almost anything that you want on the potter's wheel keeping that nice and wet and what I'm going to do is go on the inside press in from the bottom and lift up keeping my cylinder shape bit of a wobble in the middle there, don't know how that happened. Let's get rid of that. There we go. That's it. Now that's basically my mug shape. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go take out that. There's a lot of water in the bottom here where I've been keeping it wet. I'm going to take that out. And then I'm just going to even up the edge of the sides here so we get a nice even surface. Sometimes I leave it because I think it's nice to see the potter's mark. Um, sometimes I smooth it off, just depends on how I'm feeling. I'm just going to show you how it looks being smoothed off. Can you see the difference? Now that's come up in two pulls, so that's not too bad. Um, that's quite a nice big pot well that'll be a mug but the difference is is that's going to shrink twice so in the bisque fire it's going to shrink and then it'll shrink again in the glazing so I've made it quite a bit bigger than what it would normally be and I'm going to take my little tool again like I did with the bowl I'm going to take that bit off at the bottom tidy that up a bit and then you go round, so we do an undercut, that makes it nice and easy to get off the board without squishing it too much. And a little tidy up. And there we have it. So that's one. Remember what we did on the bowl? We got the leather and just rest that on the top, get a nice lip on there. You don't want that in your mouth and cutting your mouth. There we go, look at that, that's lovely and neat now. Right, and again, my little signature in the middle. Sometimes I don't put this in, sometimes I do. Depends on how I feel. Smooth it off so it's not all scratchy when you're doing the washing up just take out any excess slip and we're done Ta -da! So that's the mug now you can do all sorts of things this is just your basic mug to start with um, I think I showed you some of the ones that I did before where you once it gets to a leather hard stage so it could be um, how are we doing for time right it could be that it's um, you carve it out so it takes probably about this afternoon I'll be able to carve that out when it's at the leather hard stage let's just quickly show you one these are some that I haven't bisque at fire yet so that's basically it so we just take that put our handle on and that's it so anyway that's the end of that we'll come back and show you some more i'll probably do some more bowls now and some more mugs and i'll come back and do another video when they're all done thanks for watching bye